MK Love Fam, and welcome back to another episode. If this is your first time here, my name is Mel. I make videos to help you love yourself, trust your intuition, and manifest your heart's true desires. Now, today in Weekly Angel Guidance, this is from April the 2nd till the 9th, and there is a lot of delicious goodness that's going to be going on. Now, we're already going into the week, starting with the full moon, which is the time to release. Now, if you caught last week's episode, you would have seen that I spoke quite a lot about this full moon in Libra energies, which is all about relationships. So there was definitely last week a chapter ending and something beginning, and it kind of scared a lot of you because I got a lot of private messages, a lot of you struggling, and a lot more private readings, which is crazy, but thank you, thank you so much for each and every one of you that made contact, because I truly love hearing from you. So, so we start the week with the full moon, then come to Wednesday, we move into the disseminating moon, which is asking us to receive all this delicious goodness. So you can say, I receive abundance from expected and unexpected sources. So I wonder what's coming up for you around Wednesday, which is so exciting. Then when we move into Sunday, this is our last quarter of the moon, or the third quarter. This is asking us to breathe. So you can say, I breathe with ease in give back from a place of love. This is a really beautiful card. I love this energy for so many reasons because I feel that we need to balance the giving and the receiving. And I feel like this is always such a beautiful reminder. And another reason why I'm in love with the moon so, so much. All right, so now that that's out the way, are you ready to get your angel guidance? So if you're new, I actually have four different decks. Today I was told to pick the tarot and only use the tarot. So I'm gonna start with the tarot and then see how I feel if I wanna gravitate towards another deck, but we'll just see. By the way, this is just a general reading. So just take from this reading what feels right for you. There probably is gonna be a little divine message that's going to appear at the end of the reading. It's something that's gonna stick in your head and you'll be like, oh my God, yes, that's what it means. All right, so this is the Angel Tarot from Doreen Virtue. So I've already shuffled these and we'll just see what you need to know. All right, angels, what are my beautiful MPLA fam? Need to know from April the 2nd to the 9th. One card to help them, please. Well, you got more than one, you got two. Two, interesting, relationships, partnerships, numerology of two, okay. Ooh, you got the nine of earth. Have a look at that beautiful image right here. What comes up for you as soon as you see that? All right, so it says, enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone, successful self-employment. I feel like this is carries on a lot with last week's reading because we did pull up the Hermit card last week. And I feel like you guys are gonna get a lot of clarity as to what you need to do to move forward. And more importantly, how to heal is to retreat, is to meditate. However that looks like for you, it could be the traditional sitting down, like literally closing your eyes and going hum, lam, ram, depending on what chakra. Um, I actually have a whole chakra guide and meditation set. I actually have free meditations in my self-love starter kit and I have a forgiveness heals guided visualization for $9.99 over on my shop. So it's just what feels right for you and what level are you at and are you, because sometimes like I can say, okay, do this, this, and this. And you're like, Mel, I don't want to forgive. I'm not ready yet. And you can just say like, I am learning to forgive. I am learning to make myself a priority. This is actually a really beautiful, beautiful card. Can you see like all the darkness? Oh, my ring light is too, it's too bright. Well, can you see like, I'll put her in the middle of the circle so you can see that. Can you see the, the darkness behind? Like there's no life on those mountains but she's moved into like all this beautiful, beautiful goodness. And it's green, it's like the heart chakra and she's beautiful and she's in her power. And I just see that things are starting to flourish a lot more. Cause it's like, you've been through hell. It's like, I know that you guys have been through hell. Like 
I can feel I can feel your pain when I read your private messages and I read your comments down the bottom. And I know that this is a, a difficult time, but I just want you to keep repeating this every single day. I am where I am and it's okay. So meditation, I feel like that's what's coming. And just know that everything's working out. Like you're coming into this beautiful, this beautiful energy around and she's just like, she's just like, she's come from the darkness. Oh, I've never seen that before. There's like a stream behind her and like the stream has led to all of this beautiful goodness on the other side. It's like things are starting to flourish. I feel like that's what this card means. Then the other card that came up, holy crap, is the awakening card. Oh my God. Can you see that like this card is all about perspective. It's like you're becoming, um, oh, then I heard that song. I can see clearly now the rain has gone. It's gonna be a bright, 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 bright sunshiny day. So you're gonna have that bright sunshiny day. It's coming. It's coming through this awakening because I feel like, oh my gosh, goosebumps. A lot of you have been in relationships that don't serve your highest good. I don't know what these relationships are. It could be romantic, platonic. It could be um, a, a work career related. This could be the relationship with yourself. Do you truly honestly love yourself? Flaws and all. I mean, flaws and all. What the heck? So this is like looking at things from a different perspective. A temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. It's interesting because I just had um, a client sent her an intake form for her private reading and the way she was viewing the situation she was at I was like oh my gosh love yes I know it looks crazy right now but but you don't see the beauty in what I see and it's like whenever people go through hell and I call them like either your divine intervention if it happens and you're like I don't I didn't really plan for this to happen but it did or maybe it's kind of like I don't know a relationship breaking down like you can feel like it's ending but you know it's painful and traumatic but when you look at it from a different perspective and it's like uh, I know a lot of you have been in relationships where it has been toxic emotionally physically mentally abusive um, and that is literally creating the best success story you have ever, ever heard. And it is literally the biggest blessing in disguise. Send love to exactly where you are. You don't understand what the flip is going on right now. You know, I'm kind of like, universe, why are you guiding me here? But I'm surrendering to the process to set myself free because I don't have it all figured out, but my angels do. So as I learn to trust and surrender to the process, forgive anything and anyone that no longer serves my highest good. And I just allow the universe to guide me you're gonna have this beautiful awakening. You're gonna experience it. This is a powerful card. You know why? It is a major arcana. This is a major shift in events in where you're at. The awakening is gonna come through, I feel like this new moon in Libra energy is gonna like take a veil, like a mask off your eyes and take off those rose tinted glasses because you know, things have been crazy and you've kind of just allowed them to be that way and you've kind of like settle. And then I heard that thing from Jim Carrey from Liar Lad, settle, settle, settle. And she goes, I don't want to settle. Like, you don't want to settle. And you're not going to settle because the universe isn't allowing you to. They have divinely intervened if you haven't been paying attention. Oh my gosh, my loves. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. Let's get another one from this deck. Okay. Clarity on nine of earth and awakening. Oh my gosh, my love. Whoa, whoa, that just flipped. Flipped, flipped, flipped. You got the magician. You got the magician. This card, every time I see that card, it's like, I get the power. It's like, yes. You have the power. You, the power is coming. It's like you're taking back your power now. Yep, I got that right, because there's goosebumps from the head to my toes. It's like you are ready. You have the resources and, or, no, you have the ability or the resources to manifest them. Life is magical. You're surrounded in Mother Nature. you are got your, I don't know what you call this big stick thing that's like, what do you call this thing? I don't know, I can't think of the word. Anyways, like, get a look at that one. 
pure delicious goodness. He's got the infinity sign. Infinite love and abundance is on its way. If you can visualize it in your mind, you can manifest it into your reality. It's all about self-talk, honestly. The mind is super duper powerful and I can feel, well, I can, I can feel it. <laughs> um, and I also can, I, when I read your comments, I can tell within two seconds where your blocks are. Most of the time it's your self-talk. Justin, I know you watch my videos every week and I used to pick on your self-talk all the flipping time. I'm like, wouldn't it be lovely if you said it like this? And now when I read your self-talk in the comments, when you write to me every single Wednesday and Sunday, so Jason, uh, Justin, thank you so much. I, I feel the shift in your life. Oh, this is so good. It's like, I got the power. Yeah, you have the power. You're setting yourself free. You're releasing all this this yuckiness that you have settled for for such a long time and you're like, I am where I am and it's okay. It's like you have the power to manifest and to illustrate your own life on your terms. You deserve to be treated like a king or a queen. You deserve to live in a life of abundance. You deserve to be with the most beautiful person in the whole wide world who literally, I mean literally, worships the ground that you walk on. Maybe not literally, that could just be oh, a little bit too crazy. But you know what? You deserve to have that love. You deserve to look in the mirror and just saying that Jesse Day song, um, I love my body, I love my skin, I am a goddess, I am a queen. Like you deserve to look in the mirror and to feel that. You deserve when you open up your cupboard, Ah, this is my beautiful Lola, everyone. I love her. She just has a new little bubba coming out here. <laughs> you know, you deserve to look at your plants and go, I love you. Like, I chose you. You spark joy. You can stay in my house. Like, even like my white sage. It's like, I love this white sage. Thank you so much for being in my house. Thank you so much for helping me release any negative energies that are in my house, especially when I read quite a lot for lots of different people because the energies change on a daily basis. But do you know what I mean? You deserve to have that, uh, that beauty. Oh my gosh. This is, uh, I feel, I feel uh, this is gonna be this new you. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for my MK Love fam and I'm feeling good. Yes. Dude, we haven't had a reading this good with the energy shift in such a long time. This is massive what you were going through. This is what's preparing you for April. Oh my God. Well, we're in April now, but I mean like from the new moon in Aries, which I can't wait for. Oh my God. Yes. Whoa. Okay, this, these two cards just flew out. So let me just pull the top one. Okay, the two of air. I feel like you guys have been a little stubborn. Can you see they're like horns are like in battle? <laughs> this is totally random, but I heard that. Um, I don't know if any of you have seen Robin Hood, Man in Tides. Um, he, uh, actually, I won't repeat it, it's a little bit rude. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it says being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate, pretending there's no problem. And I feel like that's where you guys have been for quite a while. But your angels are actually not going to allow you to continue on this path anymore. Because depending on who you are and the work that you have done, your angels have basically gotten to the point where they have divinely intervened and kind of shaken things up for you because they're like, are you really going to stay in that relationship when that person treats you like a piece of shit for 40 flipping years? Really? What? When is, when is enough? And your angels have divinely intervened. Yeah, it's been crazy. Oh my gosh, you've never cried so much in your whole life. And you're like, I don't know what to do. Everything's working out. Everything, everything, everything's working out because I've got the power. What am I going to do with this light? It just totally ruins my shot. I just have to go super close to the camera. Anyways, so the next card that you got is the three of water. Look at this card here. This is a celebration. Celebrate good times, come on. A celebration, a wedding, a graduation, or a birth announcement. The need to have more fun. You guys have been too serious. 
So it's a little bit choppy on top of the water, but underneath the water is all of this beautiful goodness. And I feel like this kind of relates to the other card we pulled first. It's like, it's a little bit choppy up here, but it's super calm and it's peaceful. Um, and I feel like that that calm is gonna come as you guys continue to meditate, which is gonna come through this awakening. This is really beautiful, yes. Okay, so let's just quickly go on where we're at. So. We're gonna to retreat to meditate and that's gonna be where the awakening's going to come. Then as we become awakened, we're like, oh, you're totally like stepping in your power. Remember I said, if you can visualize it in your mind, you can manifest it into your reality. Then you kind of get to the point where you've been a little bit like in denial and that's why this card comes up. It's like you've been in denial, but the angels are not going to allow you, but they're gonna help you progress through this phase. And then as you go through all of those different phases, that's when we're gonna celebrate exactly how far you have come because everything is working out for you. And you're gonna to start to see things fall into place a little bit, but it's gonna be, uh, it could be quite painful, but that painful, thing is literally going to help heal your body, your mind, and your soul. However you choose to heal, if you need help, then I can totally help you out. If you can do this on your own, then go ahead. What's the first thing that comes up as soon as I say that? Because that is literally your divine message of exactly what you need in order to move forward. All right, let's get further clarity. I feel like maybe one or two more cards and then that's it. This is a really good week, guys. A really good week. It's like you're finally getting your, your hope back again. One card, angels, please, for my MK love fam. We haven't pulled this card in such a long time. It's the flipping queen of fire. Look at her. She is absolutely fierce. She's like, you know what? It's like you got that fire in your belly again. Now, the fire suit is all about passion. What lights you up, what makes you feel amazing. Um, it says, stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and your creativity. Every time I see this card, it reminds me of that Mariah Carey song, Butterfly. Um, Spread your wings and prepare to fly. You and me, come on, butterfly. Oh, fly so far to die. Butterfly. That's beautiful. It's like, I feel like some of you actually may be on your own now. And I feel like you have released things that haven't served you and it's a little bit scary, but you are divinely supportive. You're the queen of fire and you have the magician. Like these are truly powerful, powerful cards. Like really powerful. So you can do it. I am where I am and it's okay. Everything's working out for me. I surrender to the process and I set myself free. That's exactly the vibe that I'm getting from you guys. Oh my God. All right, so we went from releasing, then we're in receiving. You're receiving all this. I feel like the receiving could actually come through the meditation, like spiritual insight from your intuition or whatever you want to call it. And then, I feel like as you're starting to heal, I feel like when you start to breathe with ease, it's kind of like, I did it. I feel like this is this card here. It's like the celebration. That's when I feel like you're breathing with ease. And it's like, I breathe with ease and give back from a place of love. However that looks like for you. I wanna pull maybe one more. You can do it. You really can do it. You're stronger than you know. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Stand a little taller. Okay. Four cards came, but one was separated, so I'm gonna pull this one. Okay. This card is little Baba here. He needs to take some time to rest because this has been quite an emotional time. And the other two are like, is he okay? Oh, he will be fine. He just needs to take a little rest. Take time to rest or take a vacation. Allow more time before making a decision. Meditation may provide answers. So it's interesting because I feel like the last week and this week kind of like married together where we're talking a lot about meditation, like a lot about meditation. Which is interesting because come Wednesday next week, we're actually moving into the balsamic moon phase, which is all about resting. It's like 
I feel like this one is like, it's, it's getting you to think about how you're going to prepare yourself to rest. This could literally be going to bed a lot earlier. This could be sleeping in if you have the opportunity to do that or to make that a priority for yourself. I don't know how that could work for some of you if you have children um, or if you've got a lot of deadlines going on, but you really need to take this time to heal. I feel like this is going to be a pretty full on week, but it's going to give you the results that you want in the long time. It's like um, short term pain for long term gain. That's a terrible analogy. But do you know what I mean? And I feel like everything is working out for you. You got the Awakening card. Like you got the Awakening and the Magician. Two super duper powerful cards. And you got the Queen of Fire. So I feel like everything is working out. So let's do a quick recap. So we're starting the week off in the full moon in Libra, which is about relationships and asking us to release anything from our relationships that doesn't serve our highest good. So the affirmation for that time is, I release anything that no longer serves my highest good. Then come Wednesday, we're in the disseminating, uh, disseminating moon phase, which is the receiving. So this is when I receive expected and unexpected abundance. I think the, I feel like a lot of that is going to come through meditation or synchronicities around you. I have a whole video on synchronicities. I'll link that for you. Um, and then on Sunday, we're going to be going to breathe, which is our third quarter of the moon or the last quarter, which is I breathe with ease and give back from a place of love. This is a really beautiful time, my loves. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for you. I cannot wait to hear from you. Comment below. Let me know what is the first thing that popped into your head at the end of this reading, because that is your divine message. That's what you need to work on. It's been a true, a true pleasure doing this reading for you today. I feel so excited for you. I cannot wait to read your comments. Please remember that I respond to comments for the first hour after this video is live. So that is 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. So that's on Sunday. So that's gonna be a lot of your Saturday morning. Anyway, if I haven't responded to you, I will get back to you on Wednesday when I'm responding to comments. Um, I don't even know what Wednesday's video is, but I'm sure it'd be something to do about relationships and healing. I don't know. We'll just see what comes to me. All right, let's just do a quick little breathe before we go. So breathe in love. Exhale hurt. Let's try that again. Breathe in. Exhale hurt. Two more times. Breathe in. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. All right, my love, I hope that has given you a little bit of peace and relief and a little bit of guidance and clarity of what you need to do to move forward. This is a beautiful week ahead of you. Be prepared to cry. Cry as much as you possibly can. Get those tears out so there is nothing left. And I will see you on Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. I love you. Goodbye.